Hey guys, what's going on? It's Angus here and with my friend Keegan and I'm playing some TF2 um, in an idle server. I don't know why I'm in an idle server, but this is part one. So, new episode. Um, we thought of this idea. We play this game a lot, quite a lot actually. Um, it's a fun as game. And uh, pretty much just going to do this the whole time. It's just own people. The whole entire time. <sighs> Stupid sniper! Gonna go rage mode. Gotta hate the spies, you know. Gotta hate the bloody spies. Um, Scout's my favourite class out of the TF2. If I were to choose, it'd probably be the Scout. Scout's fast and just you can get away from enemies pretty quickly. Especially those pyros and spies, it's pretty hard to backstab it. Scout when, you, when you're a spy because they're so fast, they can just run off. So pretty much the team is just pushing out. And I just failed miserably. Alright. Well, um, I, might, I might change some classes, mix it around a bit. Let's go pyro, just to annoy them. So I've got normal flamethrower, and this is called the scored shot. What it can do is just like... Oh, God. Yeah, um, what this can do is... Ah, uh, well, I can't explain if I'm dead. So the scored shot pretty much can, like, force the enemy back, and it it's it's like a flare gun, except it can... And I got the lolly chop, and the lolly chop is just pretty much normal, but if you have pyrovision goggles, you can see the lolly chop. It doesn't have any special abilities. I wish it did, actually. Um, Pyro is a good class for me as well, but, um, yeah. Not all the time, it's only some maps that it's fun with to, to play this. Stupid scout, I hate... Scouts can be annoying sometimes. And a stupid guy, I'm gonna have to mute him. Mute him soon if I know what his name is. I hate when people just talk on mics and they just go all crazy like, oh, I'm a kid. It's like they're like gay or something. Anyway, um, so, yeah. Playing an idle server. Probably not the best choice to play an idle server. Because everyone idles not not that many people like to play like play it but yeah so I'm the pirate god damn it I hate when people kill me like that and he headshotted me too headshotted all right let's do that that's a spy that's a spy that's a that's a spy I knew it it was pretty obvious because he just came out of there so that was and and you're just Hate you, hate you. Pyro is fun, like I said, only on the small maps where you can like you always face the enemies. God damn it! I'm gonna I'm gonna destroy that sentry right now. So um for the spy, you backstab people if you don't know. And seriously. I can't even explain it anymore. So what you can do is, um, you can disguise as other people, like the other team. Um, what your main goal is to do is, like, disguise. And that's, like, one important thing with them. God damn it. And what you do is you have a zapper, which you can zap sentry so they don't work. And then, over time, they blow up. Um, and they can just backstab people and, yeah. Mainly, they're annoying. Anyway, here's the heavy class, and I got this. I got a normal minigun, which is really good. The heavy's really slow, that's his, like, weakness. He's super slow and hard to work with. So, um, and these fists I've found, um, make you go faster, but I don't really know why I'm wearing them. It's just all I had. And I got a sandwich, so when I eat it, it gives me health. Alright, so the minigun, you go really super slow, but at least they have... And you can own the enemies if they're close to you, so I'm gonna watch out for these. Oh, I'm gonna kill him! Oh, he's got a rocket jumper. Hey, I'm almost dead. No! Oh, damn it. I knew that was coming. He's got a rocket jumper. Pretty much, a rocket jumper is just to help you, like, um, 
it helps you just to practice rocket jumping. Because in case you didn't know, I can show you rocket jumping in a in a minute. Stupid medic. So I'm just gonna use my soldier class. So soldier just has like a rocket launcher, shoots people. I've got a special rocket launcher that makes it go faster. The projectiles. And um, yeah, so I'll show you a rocket jump. You hit the ground at the same time, and you just go flying up in the air. Um, yeah, so that's the soldier. And now I'm just gonna just try and kill them now because they're just like ambushing us big time. All right, get this heavy. Yep, got the heavy, and the crits are just awesome. Ready? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just rocketed me. So that's the normal rocket launcher. All right, all right, all right, all right. They want to play that way. You want to play that way, huh? 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 Want to play that way? <laughs> now snipers can be very annoying when they're at a long distance. They are pain in the ass. Ooh, I just want to kill them sometimes. Oh, I have. I've done that before. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> the medic helps all the people, makes their lives go up. Yeah, so this is the medic. Alright, the medic has a medi gun, which is like very weak. And what the aim of the medic does is I have a special medi gun. And this medi gun heals people. Um, but the normal medi gun actually is like, gives you uber charge. And if you don't know what uber charge is, it's something that d gives you like this color, full color over you and nothing can damage you, nothing can hurt you, you you have full protection and no one can, but it's only for a matter of time, it's not forever it's only for a matter of time, so that's the medic so I'm just healing this guy now and with the uber charge gun I can actually overheal them so give them more health but over time if I stop healing them then um, they'll, they'll, their health will slowly go down. So I'm healing this sniper. It's probably not best to heal a sniper. It's probably best to heal a pyro because they do a lot more damage. And snipers really shouldn't be close range unless you have a huntsman. So he, here we go. So I've got uber charge. I'm going to do this. And pretty much what it does is just automatically just gives you power. And it just heals you ridiculously fast. But it's not always the best. The good thing about the quick fix is that it can like heal heal you faster it has a faster heal rate so but it doesn't overheal you so that's a bad dumb thing and yeah um so now i'm going to show you the engineer the engineer um pretty much just builds dispensers dispensers give you ammo um uh sentry guns sentry guns are really Freaking awesome. I love the um, engineer. Uh, the dispenser gives you ammo, so pretty much infinite ammo for anyone. Alright, so you gotta build it, and if you whack it with a wrench, it actually builds faster. So, yeah, it's good to use that. Um, you can upgrade them to all level 3. Um, when the dispenser is upgraded to level 3, pretty much it just gives you heaps more ammo, it heals you faster, and it does all that great stuff. Um, so, I'm just gonna upgrade this quickly. Alright, so I'm going to quickly, just, sentry guns automatically, automatically, just, um, any red, other opposite enemies, it uh, tries to destroy. Ah, oh, there's too many enemies. So, dispensers are good because they can, uh, my dispenser just went out. So pretty much what you do, you can build teleport, teleporters, um, so there's an exit and an entry, um, so pretty much if you want to go to your destination, you know, I might build one, I mean, an entrance here, and then maybe over there I might put an exit. So then if, if, I, I, if I don't want to walk over there, I could just teleport over there, and you can upgrade them on all to level 3. Sentry guns pretty much just target the enemy. Once it's upgraded to level 2, it just gives, like, shoots more bullets, and it, like, has, like, a double minigun kind of thing. Um... And when it's level 3, it has, like, rockets on it, so you can just, like, pwn people in two seconds. Alright. Alright, guys, I'm going to end this episode here, because it's been quite a long time. I hope you enjoyed this first episode time as Team Fortress 2. I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace!